To say that Manchester United have got a difficult next 10 games coming up is a bit of an understatement. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is under pressure. His job is under scrutiny. It's not the first time he's been here. Well, it might, not, it might not be the last. But this season is different. Because we finished second last year, we signed Ronaldo, Varane and Sancho. In the summer, the expectations on Manchester United and what we should and could be achieving are different to what they were last year. That's why this pressure situation is a bit different. So what I want to do in this video is run through the next 10 games we've got, take a look at all of those fixtures, give you my expectations and my predictions now of what we're going to do in those 10 games. Of course, it might change with momentum, injuries, everything. But what do I expect for the next 10 games for United and from Solskjaer? Make sure you please drop a like on the video if you do enjoy it and please leave your predictions in the comments below. But let's get into this one. And let's start here by taking a look at the fixtures that we've got coming up because it's tough for United. We start on Saturday against Leicester in the Premier League away from home. Our away form's been fantastic, but it's Leicester. They haven't had the best start to the season, but they've been in and around there for the last few years for sure. Four days later, we face Atalanta in a crucial Champions League game at Old Trafford. And four days after that, we face Liverpool at Old Trafford. Then six days later, we travel to face Spurs before hope before we travel to face Atalanta only a few days after that. And then four days later, we face City at Old Trafford, a two-week international break that can get binned already. Then we face Watford. Then we face Villarreal away, which could be a very important Champions League game. Then we face Chelsea away. And then we face Arsenal at home. I'll tell you what, Man United, we have got a hell of a fixture this coming up. There is no other way to describe it. And after what has been a very, as I said, favourable start to the year, we played Leeds. Always an easy three points at Old Trafford. Thank you very much, Leeds. Then we faced Southampton. We faced Wolves. We faced Newcastle. We faced Villa. We faced Everton. On paper, Man United should have had a very strong start to the year. And we had a decent start. But I'm going to run through the next 10 games. I'm going to give you my predictions and my expectations about what United are going to do in them. And we have to start with Saturday. Leicester, I've said this all, I've always maintained this. Uh, Man United typically play better when Solskjaer is under pressure. In games where we aren't expected to win. In games where our backs are against the wall. We've sort of got dig in for the manager. We seem to do it. And I think we'll do it against Leicester, even without Harry Maguire and even without Raphael Varane. Our away record is going to be under threat, but I don't, I, politely, I don't give a shit about that record. It means nothing. As, as impressive as it is, if you don't back it up by winning the trophy, the Premier League, which is attached to it, it's a meaningless stat. Nothing more than that. Now, I would still back United to beat Leicester. That might be blind loyalty, that might be naivety, but I would expect us to get three points on Saturday. I think the return of Marcus Rashford is going to be really important for United, even if Bayern and Lindelof are probably going to start as our two centre-backs. Fred's going to be missing, Cavani's going to be missing. I would back United to win that game against Leicester. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below, but for me, I'm putting that one down as a dub. And then, four days later, we face Atalanta in the Champions League. This one's at Old Trafford. We've got the away leg coming up not long after that. United, after we beat Villarreal, and geez, we needed to do that, it, it, it puts us in a stronger position in the group. But Atalanta, as we know, after a lot of, in the last few years, they've certainly grown into being a very strong goal-scoring force. Front, forward, thinking, attacking club. But I would still back United again here to win this game. I'm really, I'm, I'm going to back United to come out a bit different post this international break. Maybe that's just the hope that's going to kill me when it when it when it happens. When I when I see United in the sort of the same the lack of tempo that everything goes on there. Maybe that's going to happen. But for me, I'm looking at this these first two fixtures, Leicester and Atalanta, and I'm backing Man United to get three points in both games. And then, of course, things start to get slightly more difficult. By slightly more difficult, extremely more difficult. Twenty fourth of October. Old Trafford, Liverpool. This is a crucial game for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. No two ways about it. It's absolutely crucial that, that Manchester United put in a performance here against Liverpool. And it's not just about the result. I mean, it is about the result. Who am I kidding? If we beat Liverpool, it doesn't really matter how we beat Liverpool. But the way that Salah is playing at the moment, the way that Liverpool seem to be a proper collective unit again at the moment, United, 
it's a tough game. I think it would have been tougher at Anfield. For sure, it would have been tougher at Anfield. So in that sense, you have to consider that slightly favourable to United. My honest opinion going into this is that we're not winning this game. I would expect us to lose this game against Liverpool. Um, that's not me being negative. That's me being a realist and my own predictions and expectations. of. And as I said, that's why the performance here is important. Because if United go down and we play like we did against, I don't know, Villa, for example, and we lose to Liverpool 2 or 3 nil without ever really threatening their goal, there's going to be a sort of apoplectic response. It's going to be toxic almost. So United need to put in a performance here. And typically, under Solskjaer, we do perform in these bigger games. I think back to Rashford banging one in against Liverpool off the top of my head. Um, United against Liverpool and against City for sure. We seem to play slightly differently to how we do against other teams under Solskjaer. And he needs it. He needs it in this game. Solskjaer needs to continue this momentum. As I said, I'm backing us to win our, our first two games here. And I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong at like 5 p.m. on Saturday when we've lost to Leicester. But I'm backing us to beat Leicester and I'm backing us to beat Atalanta. And that game there against Liverpool, if we can go into it with some sort of momentum, maybe United can surprise me. But I fear for us in that game. And then only, what is it, four days? No, six days later after that, we travel to face Spurs. Away from home, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I believe it's our first game there. I'm not sure, actually. I might be completely wrong. But, no, I definitely am wrong. Spurs have been very hot and cold this season. Very, very hot and cold. Um, and United's away for... This, I would I'll probably put this down as a draw, if I'm being completely honest. That's, that's a game that I wouldn't want to call two teams who, depending on momentum and depending on form and depending whether Harry Kane wants to play football or not, you can't rule Spurs out. I don't think... Draw. For me, that's that's a draw. That, that's got draw written all over it. And the next game we've got, so that's on the 30th of October. Then we play three days later away against Atalanta. And depending on whether or not we beat them at Old Trafford, this could be a crucial, crucial game. That's what I mean. These 10 fixtures really are sort of, they're sort of season-defining fixtures. Because if we don't perform here in these two games against Villarreal in the Champions League, we could be facing an exit at the group stage in the Champions League. And that could be catastrophic, both for United and for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. So whether or not this is a, a hugely important game depends on how well we do at Old Trafford in the first game. Playing them twice within the space of two weeks. I'm putting United, I'm putting this down as a draw. Again, I'm going two draws here against Spurs and Atalanta. And again, this will very much depend on what happens in the first game. Whether we really go at them, whether we really need to win or whether a draw away from home. I mean, that's what they always say, right? Win your home games, draw away. I'm, I'm back in United to draw this one against Atalanta. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. But for the first few games there, I'm backing us to beat Leicester. I'm backing us to beat Atalanta. I think we'll get beaten by Liverpool and I'm backing us to draw with both Spurs and Atalanta. Now let's move on because only four days after that Atalanta game, we get Pep, we get City. 12.30 kickoff at Old Trafford. Let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. This one is going to be a very tough one to call. Really, really tough one to call. Solskjaer's really kind of had Pep's, Pep's number, isn't he? He's beaten him what, two, three times as United manager so far. It, it seems like we, as I said, we, we turn up in these games. I'm backing United to win it. I'm, I'm going to back it. Fuck it. Why not? I'm going to back United to win this game. Um, my actual expectation going into it is it's going to be, uh, the tension's going to be ridiculous. Really, really ridiculous. And of course, um, the context of the game will change everything. If we go into this off the back of four or five wins, momentum, wind in our sails, it might be a little bit different than if we go into it off the back of losing away at Atalanta, off the back of losing away at Spurs. And this game carrying a different sort of significance and importance. I'm going to back United to win it. That might sound foolish. You might say, mate, City, they're, they're looking cracking this season by comparison. If you look at the City and the Liverpool game that happened, that was a different level of football, wasn't it? A different level of football in the Premier League and the sort of level that we should be aiming towards. But typically, I feel like we turn up in these games and that's why I'm going to back us for a win. Again, you might disagree with me. You let me know in the comments below. But that's on the 6th of November. And then you got to fast forward another 14 days. And this time you're looking at Watford away. Now, on paper, you're going to be going, yeah, all right, Watford away. Newly promoted, lovely, three points. It's not how United work. 
United typically in these games where you're looking at go looking at going, mate, United easily would have said the same thing for Villa. I wouldn't have said the same thing for Everton at home, but they were missing a lot of players, man. I would certainly would say the same thing for Villarreal at home in the Champions League, for example. But given the fact that they beat us in the Europa League final last year, maybe not. But these are the sorts of games where United have slipped up so often under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and previous managers as well, actually. I'm going to go for a draw. This, these, these sorts of games, I worry about them now. I worry about them. I worry about going into them. If I'm complacent as a fan, likely thing is the players are complacent as well. So I'm going to go for a draw between United and Watford. And for a lot of people, that's not going to be anywhere near good enough. And then we move on. I wonder, what's this? Uh, is that five, three days later? Yeah, three days later, we play Villarreal away from home. That is 100% going to be a draw. 100% going to be a draw. It's draw City here. It's the fourth draw that I predicted in like five games. And again, maybe that won't be a good patch for Manchester United. It won't be a good patch for Solskjaer. But I think these Champions League games is very much just going to focus on winning the home games and drawing away. Uh, that's what we were trying to do away at Young Boys. And we would have done it, you know, if, were it not for that Lingard mistake at the end. And that was with 10 men as well. And maybe that would have changed the whole context of how good or bad our Champions League group is. But I'm going to go for a draw there between United and Villarreal. And that means we've got two games left. And i tell you what, Stamford Bridge has been a lovely place to go under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. It was a horrendous place to go. And then he's turned it into his sort of ballpark, his playground, his place where he goes for three points. I don't think we we're going to be getting three points here against Tuchel. Chelsea look very impressive. Very, very impressive under T Thomas Tuchel. Nobody can de deny that. And the people are looking at him and saying, well, if he can go in and make that sort of impact in that short a space of time and win the Champions League, then why can't United do the same? That's a, a lot of justification for a lot of United fans who aren't supporting Solskjaer, who want him out of the club. I think we'll lose here. I think we'll lose against Chelsea. I think they'll probably have too much quality and be too good for United, ultimately. So my prediction and my expectation there is that that won't be a fun game to watch. It won't be a fun game to endure. I think Chelsea will probably control the majority of it. And Lukaku. Lukaku will probably score. So that's that's my prediction for that game. I think we're going to lose there. And then the final game of this 10 crazy game period. Arsenal at home. And if we don't beat Arsenal, we don't deserve anything. The mid-table mediocrity that they are. And we're, we're clear of them. We are. But we very much drag ourselves back into that little mid-table form and, and performances far too often. I'm still backing us to beat Arsenal. Don't care. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what any Arsenal fan watching this says. You enjoy yourself under Mikhail Arteta. In the same way that you can point at United and say about United and Solskjaer, but that's fine. You can say what you want. And I'm saying I don't give a crap about this game in terms of it's Arsenal, man. It's Arsenal. And right now, I don't care. We're winning that game. So if we're looking at my overall predictions there, I'm backing us to beat Leicester. I'm backing us to beat... Atalanta. They're my first two games. Next game, we're going against Liverpool. I think we'll lose that game. Then I think we'll draw against Spurs. I think we'll draw against Atalanta. I think we'll beat City. Call me foolish. That's my prediction. I think we'll draw against Villarreal. I think we'll draw against Watford there before Villarreal. I think we'll lose to Chelsea. I think they'll have too much for us. And I am backing us to beat Arsenal. Now, if that's the results in the next 10 games, is that good enough for Manchester United? Is that good enough for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Losing there against Chelsea. Losing there against Liverpool. But beating City. Beating Leicester. Qualifying for the Champions League. Not, is, is that good enough? You let me know what you think about that in the comments below. That's my predictions and my expectations. My feelings now. Things can change. Considering the last game there against Arsenal was on the 30th of November. And it's only the 13th of October. A good six, seven weeks away. But this is what United have got coming up. And if we're going to do it under Solskjaer, he has to do it in these next 10 games. Get the wrong results and the wrong performances in these 10 games. Solskjaer's job really will be on the line. Simple as that. The pressures and the expectations are different this year because of the players we signed. I, I can admit that. And I'm a big supporter of Solskjaer and what he's doing, even if I can see the huge flaws that he has inside his setup. But that's my expectations and predictions for these 10 games. You let me know what you think about that 
in the comments below. What games do you think United are going to win? What games do you think United are going to lose? And what position, I suppose you can ask, it. do you think Solskjaer will still be in his, in his job by the end of November? I think he will be. And I think if we get these results, I think we'll be in a much better place than we're at right now. You let me know what you think, though. And make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Take it easy.